Welcome back to our next video in our series here. We're, um, this one is a modern uh, type deck that I've created. It's a red deck, solid solid red, all about dragons. Somebody said they couldn't. it couldn't be done to build a dragon deck. Um, I beg to differ. Yes, dragons are costly um, and that sort of thing in the early going of a game. But I was able to find some cards to help with the dragon deck. Uh, dragon Spear Shaman. It, it's a creature, yes. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. Costs 3 to bring out. So yeah, it might take a little bit of time to finally bring it out and whatnot. But what it, the ability for this Barbarian is, Dragon Spells cost 2 less. Uh, 2 colorless less to cast. So I looked at it and going, oh, well, we'll put four of those in the deck. Hopefully they'll survive long enough to be able to play a dragon card. But there's also these ones here, Dragon Lord Servants. It's another creature. It's a cost two to bring out, though. But it says dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. So I'm going, okay, so I've got four of those in here. So that's eight spells. They are creatures. Um... They're not just one-time-off uh, scenarios where you've got some cards and, yeah, if they survive, um, these days they don't seem to survive, but it's a two-casting cost. It's all well and fine. So if you have these in your hand at the beginning part, so Dragon Spells cost one less to cast. So that's possible with um, lots of extra help. But then you've got Cubicles of Fire. It's an enchantment. It gives your dragons plus three plus three. So yeah, it buffs up your dragons no problem. So even simple dragons like your dragon hatchling that has fire breathing. Yes, it costs two to bring out. Uh, if you have some of the other uh, helper cards out, it'll cost you one red to bring out. Um, this is your one flying creature, but with your help of the cubicles of fire, it uh, beefs up your dragons so he would be a 3-4 instead of just a 0-1 dragon creature. So you get four of those in here. And then you've got, you follow along with a little bit more uh, costly ones in here. You've got dragon whelps. Okay, they are they cost four to bring out but the possibility of them just costing two to bring out. It's possible. Um, so you get your dragon whelps. You get four dragon whelps in there. Then you've got these ones here, dragon eggs, uh, dragon eggs, sorry. They're nice and simple. They've cost three to bring out um, when they die. Put a two uh, red uh, creature token into play with um, fire breathing, basically. So yeah, it's decent. It's a defender creature. It can't attack when he first comes out, but uh, it's a good blocking creature to start off the game. Uh, because it's a creature dragon, um, you can get the discounts again off your ca ca um, casting cost of these guys um, as you go along. I threw Dragon Tempest in here. Whenever your creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it has haste until end of turn. But it says whenever Dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player. Where X is the number of dragons you control. Hence why you have... It's decent for a dragon deck because, well, that's all that's in here is dragons. So yeah, it's two enchantments. Um, they only cost two to bring out, so it's not very costly in that sense to have them in the deck and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so then we decided to throw in these... Planeswalkers. They're not dragons, but they do produce dragon creatures. So create a 4-4 red dragon uh, creature token with flying. Or until the end of turn, each planeswalker you control is a 4-4 uh, red dragon creature and it gains for flying. Reasonable. But it says whenever a creature attacks or a planeswalker you control, uh, each dragon you control deals 1 damage to that creature. So, yeah, it's reasonable to have that these guys in a dragon deck. So later in the game, or possibly turn 3, turn 4, you might actually be able to play Shivan Dragons. 
five five flying creatures if you can get those other uh cards out on turn four you can actually have a couple of shivan dragons maybe two on a, in a turn maybe maybe not uh, and then we've got this guy here maw flames yes he's an expensive seven seven flying creature he costs seven to bring out, but there is a possibility of him costing only three to bring out. But it says here he's flying. Whenever uh, he comes out, or whenever he attacks, he does four damage to any target and three damage to each and up to two other targets. Yeah. Um, to have him come out later in a game would be good. No problem on that side of it. Then we got another not-so-big dragon but it's decent where he is flying uh when he you can give him haste or you can give him for strike or you can give him fire breathing all depends maybe you give him all three when he comes out if you got the mana to support it then you've got the um dragon queen here yes a little expensive cost six to bring out but whenever another dragon enters a battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 five, five, uh, token creature with flying. Dragons you control, get plus, zero, plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. Man, that's going to buff up your dragons to no end. So that's reasonable. Here's another one that costs a little more. It costs 5 to bring out, but... Um, it says whenever this creature comes out or another dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. Is that the we didn't have that one already shown already, do we? No, we didn't. Interesting. So I have two of them like that. And this one's a little bit more expensive, but hey. But we did show this guy off already. And I figured, well, we'll throw in Howling Mine in there just to draw some additional cards if need be. Um, doesn't mean we have to play it, but we'll keep it in there. And then our faithful cards to try to ev even out the playing field a little bit. Lightning Bolts. So that is my creation for a modern dragon deck for the cards that I own. I'm sure there's other dragon cards out there that might be a little bit better than what I've created here. I think it's a decent deck. I think I'm going to keep it together. I'm not going to break it up. I was thinking of breaking up all my decks. But I would like to try this out uh, playing against somebody in the near future. Um, to see if I can pull out some of the stops that are given in this deck. It would be nice to be able to play some modern uh, games in paper format um down the road but uh yeah i've got a couple more of these videos for the series at the moment coming to you um then we're going to move into possibly making up um some old school decks or other variations of decks that can be created out of uh different formats but uh for now this is our dragon deck that i've created if there's uh, comments you think I can change or make a modification to, I'm all ears. I'll be happy to uh, make take suggestions. Uh, but for now, I'd love to try this out one of these days just as a casual game. Just to see what happens. See what kind of outcome we can get with this dragon deck. But it's Attack of the Killer Dragons. That's all I can say. Somebody said it can't be done. It looks reasonable. It's dangerous. But it takes a little bit of time to get started. But I've seen a lot of um, games lately. By turn 5 you might be dead. By turn 5 they may have a combo or something like that in play. And you're dead. So yeah, there's multiple different ways of killing you. But that's it. Bye for now.